Hey everybody and welcome back to Parker Tries Things. If you don't already, go follow me on Instagram at Parker Tries Things, Tries with a Y. It's grad week here at West Point, which means we are done with all our teas, which means the academic year is over, so no more plead classes. Right now my room looks a little janky. Um, I'm in the middle of packing out and moving all my things down to the trunk room as well as packing up for CFT, which I will be completely myself. So in this video, I wanted to address some questions that I've been getting about West Point as well as leave year in general. So I'll be asking some of my teammates and my friends and just some of my classmates how their plea year was with some questions that y'all have been asking. What do you wish you knew when applying? I wish I would have known that it's a lot easier than you expect, so don't stress yourself out and have a good mindset because it's really fun. Was how the academic system works um, and like your classes and course selections. I kind of knew I was going to like take calculus again and, uh, and like some gen ed science classes, but knowing what your semester will look like each year is uh, very important. I wish I knew that before I came here. I wish I knew like on the back end of the application process, I guess, like once uh, like, like once you're closer to being accepted, like it kind of like ramp, like there's more things that you have to do like before, like it's not like once you get accepted, like you just show up here in the summer, like there's a lot of things you gotta take care of. Like I remember there were some shots that I had to get and like some medical and dental records. And I kind of wasn't expecting that and I wasn't prepared for that. Yeah, if you wanna serve and like you don't really care whether like which branch, then like apply to all because a lot of the essays are like the same. People say that it's a lot more work to apply to more than one service academy, but it really isn't. A lot of running, like every single day, a lot of running. And then also, I made myself take shorter showers, so I'd be prepared to take really fast showers. I think a key part is just to get prepared mentally. Just try to enjoy small things, go on a hike, go to, go to sleep early, that's it. I just like worked out a lot. Um, and I would just say be fit and just come with a good attitude. So I'm an athlete here, so my coach gave me training. Um, but I definitely worked on HRPs and I ran because that's my sport. As long as you come in like fit, you, you'll be fine. Run and just get pumped. If you're not, um, just know that you can bring a stuff, like your own underwear, uh, your own socks, bring it all. Do not use the army issued underwear. Do not use the army issued underwear. <laughs> bring your own. So that's how I prepared, brought my own underwear. It's not as physical as I was expecting, but I would say still make sure that you can run, run a good like a two mile and make sure that you, you know, break in your boots a little bit. Just make sure you can knock out those push-ups, the hand release push-ups, try, try the things for the ACFT. What is one thing you would tell yourself a year ago? Well, a year ago, I was pretty worried, um, but I was just excited that I would be coming to West Point. So I would just tell myself to calm down and just do your best and prepare because you're at West Point for a reason, and so you're only gonna grow, um, so yeah. I would tell myself to just go for it. It's gonna be one of the most rewarding things you do. Um, a year ago today, I would probably tell myself to not be afraid of going after what I want, um, and not being, uh, just not to be worried about like failing. If I could tell myself tell something a year ago, it'd be enjoy the time with your family more because I didn't know that we'd be in straight lockdown for a full year. So I would say just enjoy every moment instead of wishing some of them away so you could get to West Point. I wish I knew that the upperclassmen were not out to get me and that they actually care about me and that everything comes out of the tough luck. Um, one thing I would tell myself a year ago before coming to West Point is that I can't always be perfect because I've always been a serious overachiever and it's really tough after having like good grades in high school, doing really well all around and then coming here, it's a very humbling experience, but yeah, I would definitely prepare myself better for not being perfect. You're gonna be put in a lot of positions that you're uncomfortable with. Take it on with confidence. So I probably tell myself not to psych myself out. So a year ago, I was pretty nervous about coming here. Didn't know if Pad really fit, but like just knowing that like you got it, you'll be fine. You'll fit in fine, so. Don't focus too much about worrying or preparing for West Point. Just worry about, you know, enjoying your time with your family and your friends. A year ago, it'd be to not take things too seriously and just always be yourself. All right, so 
just to not stress so much and have a good time and try and get out to the city as much as possible. <laughs> Enjoy the time before getting here, please. Yeah. I wish I brought my skincare routine <laughs> because I thought I wasn't gonna have enough time, but like you get time to like clean yourself. So I wish I brought this. One thing I would bring is a picture of your your family, you know, to remind you of where you really came from. Um, it's easy to get caught up in all the all the little things that happen, like getting yelled at, and, you know, getting smoked and all that stuff. But I think keeping a PC that really matters reminds you why you're there. Yeah. I wish I would have brought Q-tips. They're really helpful for cleaning the rifle. I'll eat some yeah, more work. socks and underwear. <laughs> All right, so the one thing I wish I brought to Beast was like was like an address book, because I didn't think about this, right? And I also didn't bring stamps and envelopes. So you, you're gonna want to write home, you're gonna want stamps and envelopes, and so I had to wait for like people to send me letters so I could get their address, so I could write them back. But it's like, it's like right when you get into Beast, you kind of want to tell people about, you know, what's going on or whatever, or maybe, I don't know, you want to cry to your mom. And, uh, and then, so it's tough when you don't have an address book or stamps or envelopes. So that's it, bring that stuff. Pens, bring pens. Bring baby wipes. Um, I managed to forget the blister patches and like moleskin. The thing I wish I brought to Beast was uh, more razors. The biggest standard for males is to have a clean shaven face. So, and I ran out and had to use like dirty ones in the field and it's, so I would say like better razors. I think you can never have too many pairs of underwear when it comes to these, so back heavy. Um, I wish I brought lip balm. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple things I would bring more of, more of to Beast was definitely underwear and bras. And then another thing I would bring more of is 550 cord. I wish I brought colored pencils to Beast because my Beast roommate was always coloring and it was not in color and it was depressing. <laughs> what is the worst thing about being a plebe? Wearing a PT belt, so I always forget it. The worst thing about being a plebe is always having to be in uniform. Uh, the worst thing about being a plebe is definitely having to get in like full uniform to like go to the bathroom at two in the morning. The not being able to talk outside, I got told off many times for that, so. <laughs> Worst thing about being a plebe is probably doing everything that a plebe has to do, like doing duties. And also like the little things like can't talk outside, cupping your hands, walking on the walls. Probably the worst thing a plebe year, just cause it's like a hassle to do. What was the worst slash hardest plebe class? History. Boxing, <laughs> hated it. Uh, the worst and hardest class for me was definitely dirt. <laughs> this was PE 215 because it's very difficult to remember to take the quizzes. So I would say that the hardest plebe class for me was probably CY. Like, uh, just because uh, if, if you're not like attentive, it, it can get away from you a little bit. It's, it'll be like reading Chinese. Uh, physics, second semester. But it was a lot of partial credit actually, so I can't really say that. Chemistry. Uh, my hardest plebe class was definitely physics. It took a lot of studying. I'm gonna say ME 103 just because it's like a West Point math class. It's a little bit of algebra and a little bit of just new stuff. The worst plebe class is probably history for me just because all the essays, they suck. Chemistry, chemistry sucks. Chemistry. Uh, I wish I learned to like balance my time a bit more and like have more time with like friends and everything and not just focus so much on like academics. Um, I wish I got to know more people and that I really stepped out of my comfort zone. Um, it's hard being outside and not being able to talk, but I would try to meet as many people as I could. I wish I would have make sure you're like good with your time, like spend lots of time with your friends because that's what you'll remember and it's fun um, instead of like homework, but also do your homework sooner rather than later balance my academic, physical, and social life a little better. Um, I mean, I had a lot of fun, but I probably could study a little harder. This year, it would be trying out for a lot of clubs. I really didn't do that, and now I'm regretting it. I'm probably gonna have to go back as a yuck and try out for everything, which is kind of weird, because it's usually plebes that do that. What I would do differently this year is, I think, um, talk more to the upper class. I think that it's key to expand and create mentors. 
What was the best part about Plebeer? You meet a bunch of new people and new friends from different places. So very unique people. Definitely the friends you make and the good times that you will have. Okay, the best part of Plebe Year was taking OPPs. I had a great time. I went to the city twice. Uh, went around, saw all the sights, saw there was a sea in the city, and uh, just bonded pretty good with my boys. It was definitely the people. Um, the Army is a people organization, and the people really make it worth it. Um, even in light of all of the the crazy things and just like the boring things that plebes have to do, the people really do make it well worth it. And the more you spend time with them, the more you like came with friends, like it, it is a really cool place. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and all the responses from my fellow cadets. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. We're casting our